Welcome everyone to this, I guess, special weekend edition. Very it? special edition because we're going to do something today we never do, Jeff. What is that? Talk about TNA. Whoa! Believe it or not, the company does still exist. That's right, they do. Impact Wrestling is in effect, and I just like to say that, you know, it's no secret that the shows on the weekend aren't taped on the weekend on this channel. So I, I, I like to put it out there right now. I pray to God this is the last thing we tape. Before we, as as we're calling the Kings, just the Western Conference champions. Yes. We needed to get this done tomorrow. Yes. End of story. Yes. All right. Go ahead. We are you here. have some. Well, we're going to get to that in a minute. We're going to get okay. to that. Okay. All, right, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We are here on the cusp, if you will, of the tenth anniversary of the little Tennessee-based promotion that nobody thought would last more than a year or two. At the end yeah, of the day. seriously. And we're going to talk about and actually give predictions for TNA Slammiversary, their 10th year anniversary show. First match we're going to talk about, and this, this has to be a match that's been being built up on Explosion, which is why I know Jack Diddley squat about it. Yes. Hernandez versus Kid Cash. Is it going to be on the... The pre-show? Or it I does can't not be? say pre-show or anything. It just... We don't know which of these will be on the pre-show, although that would probably be a pretty good guess. Uh, just throwing that out seriously, there. Seriously, it's like, when have they... When have these guys actually been on Impact? Either one of them. Like I said, I think this match has been getting built on the syndicated show Explosion, which, which we, we, don't get, we don't get, which is why we don't know about it. All right, well... At the end of the day for this one, I'm going to go with Kid Cast just because... This is the Slammiversary pay-per-view, and Cash was one of the originals. Hernandez came in much later. Yes. I, I think this has to be built around the originals as much as humanly possible. No doubt. I'm going to go with Cash. As, as will I. How about that? Match that just got added this past week on Impact. A triple threat match to determine the number one contender for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. And they will get that shot. On impact next week. Next yes, week. Jeff Hardy versus Rob Van Dam versus Mister Anderson. Anderson. I was gonna point to the crowd and have them do it, but she don't like him, and he plug his ears because he's being so loud. <laughs> Hey, I have, when you do that, you've yeah, got to yeah, do gotta it project. right. you got to project. That's right. Goodness sakes. Um, at right. the end of the day, on this one, I used to love Jeff Hardy. I think he's had his chances. Although TNA may feel that he's proven himself in the back again, I don't think he has with me at least. No. I'd like to see RVD get back the belt that he never really lost. So I'm going to pick RVD to win the match. I think we're going to pick the same ones throughout this, the course of this card. We'll see how things go. Go ahead. I, I, I got a feeling they're going to give it to Hardy, though. I, I do, For ratings. It sucks, but, yeah. But I really want Rob. Yeah. Non-title match. Okay, Samoa wait, Joe versus the greatest man that ever lived, Austin Aries. Which right away is BS, because Samoa Joe's one of the greatest division champions of all time. Yeah. Should get but, that. but... Ever since they in initiated this oh, weight class, right. Joe's not an X-Division superstar I forgot anymore. about that. I forgot about that. Well, since it's non-title, and since we're going with the originals anyway, i got to go with Joe. Yeah, definitely. Joe wasn't original, but he has made his name as a TNA guy. Granted, he was big in Ring of Honor. I was going to say, he made his name as a Ring of Honor champion. Right, but he has, he has solidified his superstar status worldwide if you will. as a TNA <coughs> competitor. Yes. So I would go with Samoa Joe. Open challenge. Crimson versus question mark. Alright, the fact that he threw out Goldberg's name the other night, or last night, leads me to believe that the man from Georgia is going to come out there and do the thing, but uh, whoever it's going to be is going to be the one to end the streak. Yeah. That's my pick there. I, I have been noticing... And again, we don't see Explosion. For those of you that get Explosion, leave a comment in the comment box and let us know if I'm missing something here. I've noticing, been noticing that a certain former tag team partner of Crimson has been conspicuous by his absence as of late. 
I do not know if his contract has expired yet because I know there's been a lot of talk about him going back to the E. Yes. But I'm wondering if it won't be Matt Morgan. Could be. The well only be. thing that I think wouldn't make it Matt Morgan is the fact that, you know, they're not going to have him end the streak just to go back to the other guys. Yeah, would be dumb. Very dumb. So... This this could definitely go either way. Goldberg would be an interesting dynamic to yes. say the least. You know, especially with, you know, Goldberg moonlighting over in the WWE is right back right now. <laughs> right. Oh. You know, John Morrison could always be a possibility, but I don't see Morrison coming up on Crimson. I think John's having a good time hanging out with Josh. Huh? And and everybody like, by, the way, choice? by the way by the way, I I, I got I, I gotta apologize. I promised the voice of choice, Mr. Rosenberg, and everybody that I'd promote that. I didn't. Big turnout, as it turns out, anyway. They had a big turnout. Joey Ryan was there. gave the big old super kick to Rosenberg. So my apologies for not promoting it, but congratulations to another successful show. I hope we get to get out there the next time. Money's just been tight. Seriously, we had we had to clean the couch and everything just to get money to go up to the watch party for the Kings game tomorrow. It's been crazy around here. So I apologize to Christian Rosenberg, the voice of choice, and everybody like that. But you know what? It's, it, it, it will be fun if y'all do it in July, and I'll try to be there. There we go. And you have breaking news later. I've got breaking news myself. I have been followed on Twitter by Dustin Rhodes. Okay, go ahead. All right. Go ahead. I don't know why it's breaking news, but I, I, I like it. For the TNA Knockouts Championship, Gail Kim is going to be defending her title against Miss Tessmacher. Yes, and Brooke Tessmacher has been... Having Gail's number except in the in the clutch, and I noticed last time they made a review that Brooke lost. It leads, me, it leads me to believe that Brooke is going to pull it out this time. Yeah, and it sucks because Gail's an original too. At Gail, the end of the day, Gail was there. As far as the knockouts division goes, Gail, she is. Gail but she was wasn't really, there. You no. know, in 02 when they launched. No. Or even you know, or four, oh four, oh five when they really started to blow up. She was still in the E then. Right, but Gail was the original knockouts champion. She was the original knockout except for Tracy. I gotta go with Brooke though. It sucks. I hate picking yeah. Brooke. I I really want Gail to retain. Even though I will give Tess Marker credit. Oh yes, she has come a long way. Very much so. Since her days on the Extreme Expose with another, you know, person who gets way too much airtime as it is and still can't wrestle her way out of a wet paper bag with you know. A, a chainsaw, a blowtorch, and a you know what in her mouth. But at least Leva has proven herself. Yes. And of that of that trio. And so is Tess Walker. Yes. And hopefully, wouldn't the, it be cool the, if Brooke the other blonde Layla... is just too busy sleeping on her back? You yeah. Know? Well, wouldn't it be cool if Brooke and Layla were both champions? Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be kind of cool. that'd be kind of cool. I I I, I'm a, I would like. I'm that. still gonna go with Gail to retain because I just not quite Brooke's time yet. Are you thinking shenanigans by Gail Kim? Or Mickey. Or Mickey, because, yeah. Because Mickey little, has been teasing a little bit of a heel yeah, turn. Yeah, I noticed that last night. I noticed that uh, Delvin getting the news video didn't sit well with Miss James. And, and then, then Brooke and getting then Brooke the number one contendership over didn't Mickey. sit well. Yes, yes. So we'll see. We'll see if they finally turn Mickey heel for the first time in her TNA run. It'll be interesting to see. Tag team match. The Robbies <laughs> versus Devon and Garrett Bischoff. Now, I have a question. Yes. Hulk Hogan said that Every time on television, the title would be defended. Mm -hmm. Why isn't the TV title on lock? I or was he just speaking about the weekly broadcast? I believe Mr. Hogan did did, did, did mean that the Impact broadcast would be defended when the TV champion. Because I noticed even on pay-per-views in WCW days, there wasn't really a TV title defense, unless it was like some weird storyline like Larry Zabisco being involved or some stupid crap like that. But usually the TV title would be defended on WCW Saturday night. Mm -hmm. So, In this case, it's an Impact exclusive, if you will. I, I'm going to go with Devon and Garrett on this one. I, 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 I said it the other night, and I'm going to say it here live via Memorex for y'all to hear. I see Garrett Bischoff being the one to defeat Devon in the future. I will say this, and I will, I will go on record. The Robbies will win because Garrett will turn. You think that, it's going to happen and, at Slam and, and that's how Garrett and Devon will start their big. You, you think it's going to happen at Slam You don't think they're going to build up to something a little bit bigger? Because 
just starting to simmer. It's like you just put the water on the stove and kick the fire on to get the water boiling. You need to give it time but to get the is, water to bubble and boil but before you make yeah, it. Remember, this is Bischoff and Hogan booking this. Yeah, okay, good point. So they're going to turn that gas lamp all the way up. Good point. Even though Bischoff did prove he can hold the simmer for 16 months. Like that. 20 I years they, ago, yeah. I think yeah, they yeah. need to hold the simmer till down for glory. They do, but they won't. That's what they need to do. But, but they won't. Bully Ray versus Joseph Park. With Abyss apparently going to make an appearance. Yeah. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, exactly. A Chan- oh. Yeah, you exactly. got yeah, Channel Rick over there. Um, they're probably going to have some guy in a stunt suit for Abyss. And somehow Joseph Park will win. Yeah, Joseph has to beat Bully Ray. Yeah. Because, that, because that'll because send Bully spiraling out of control in his head. Drive him knocking foots. Yeah, for I sure. Agree. I agree. Um, the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Bobby Roode versus the Stinger. Believe it or not, yes, this match is listed second on Wikipedia. There is actually a match listed above this. Because the bigger stars are the main event. At the end of the day. I thought this was TNA, where, world, where wrestling and world championships mattered over, you know, WWE, where as long as it's John Cena, he's the main event. Well, but there are world champions in the main event, according to Wikipedia. Mm-hmm. Depends on how you look at it. Yes. I gotta go with Bobby. Gotta go with Bobby. Bobby's been on an incredible roll. I don't see Sting... Yeah, but if Sting doesn't do it, who will? Rob on Thursday. No. Yes. I don't think Rob will do it on Thursday. I want him to get the shot, but I don't think it'll happen. I think, and I believe I've said this watching the show to you also, I think the man that needs to be the one to topple the unstoppable Bobby is one of two guys. It either needs to be James Storm when he finally pulls his head out of his butt and comes back. Because we saw that oh-so-lovely promo featuring his daughter, what was it, back? a week or so ago? Yeah, whatever. Are you going back? It's like, oh. You know, and he's going to do it for his little girl. Right. Or it's going to be the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Well, both and AJ I, think, I think they're missing the boat by not booking AJ for the title at the 10-year pay-per-view. Well, this whole thing, I mean... We'll, we'll get into the AJ thing in a minute. I was going to say, I, yeah. I think they're seriously missing the boat here because when you think of TNA Originals and bred TNA talent, you think AJ Styles. No doubt. So it should be Bobby Roode, somebody who's been there virtually since day one. Yes. Versus AJ, the guy that has been there since day one. They should have. IMO. They should have, but they didn't. And at the end of the day, I'm still picking Bobby to retain. Me too. I, I just, I'd like to see Sting get it again, but mm-hmm. he doesn't need it, mm-hmm. and it would completely shatter Bobby's run. Yep. And the match that is listed first, but does not mean it'll be the main event. No. The Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels and Frankie the Future Kazarian, your TNA mm-hmm. World Tag Team Champions, versus the Phenomenal One AJ Styles. And your Olympic gold medalist, your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle, for the TNA World Tag Team Championship. I don't know why, and I hate this, but... You're going AJ and Kurt. No, no, I'm actually going with Frankie and, and Chris. So why do you hate it? Be- because I, just, I, I, sense, I sense some serious shenanigans on the part of AJ. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he's going to either get turned on or there's going to be some sort of major distraction from Dixie or Surge or Kurt and AJ are not going to be united they weren't united the other night okay. really I mean toward the end they was really were obviously but they really weren't a united front against the three guys last night so I, I don't see that tag team working out plus I don't want Dick, Frankie and Chris to lose yet yeah, Frankie and Chris have just got the belts a month ago. They yeah. need to have a run with these belts. They are long overdue for a push within this company. Yeah, they are long tenured TNA guys, both of them. Yeah. So. Going back to like sports entertainment extreme. Right? Yep. But All right. Sadly, none of that 
right now, today as we speak, is the main news. What is the main news that you the have major news. made me wait for? You're going to spring it on me in front of the world here. Yes. Literally. I, I, I'm, I'm not BSing there. I have no idea what he's about to say. No clue. At TNA Dixie, on a plane headed to Dallas for the big pay-per-view this weekend, very excited that Christian Cage is joining us for the night. He's one of my favorites. TNA's loading of Ric Flair for the Hall of Fame is cashing in at their 10-year pay-per-view with an appearance by Captain Charisma, Christian Cage. Now, did she say Christian Cage? Or did At she Christian for peeps. On Facebook, she put Christian Cage. Rumors are already bubbling that he's going to be the first Hall of Fame announcement for TNA. Somewhere, Vince Hunter sh sh is crapping a brick. I don't think so, because they made the deal to trade... In order to get Flair on the show, oh, that's true. They, they would did. have to give up one of their guys for, for the night. That's for right. something. Yeah. Yeah. So they are giving up the Intercontinental Champion for the ten-year wow. anniversary of TNA. I wonder if he's going to come out with the strap. That would be awesome to have the Intercontinental Championship on the TNA, TNA show yeah. for the night. Also makes me wonder. If he is not going to be the one to go against Crimson. If they've only gotten him for a special appearance promo type of thing. Then no. Right. Or if they've made an agreement where he can be the guy to end the streak. Wow. That is... That's a big deal. That really is something. People are already crapping on them about, you know, why would you reveal this this way? Why wouldn't you surprise everybody that... The night at the show. It's very simple. Yeah. Pay-per-view buys. They need to sell the show. Yep. We'll be watching it. Somehow. You know, somehow. We'll be watching the show. They want to make sure y'all watch the show. Yeah, I what will. do you guys think about Christian, Captain Charisma, coming to TNA for the to night. be on anniversary for the night? I'm curious to go on... WWE.com now, or go on like message boards and see what people are saying. Cause I'm, I'm curious now. Do you have over that? You do. There you go. How is All Christian right. able to appear if he's still under WWE contract? We just explained that to you. Yeah. Um, why spend money on Christian when you can get or already have Joey Ryan? Ah! Ah! Because yeah. they're not spending money on him. If he's already there. there. He's already there. That's right. Hang. Crimson's opponent? Um, just, 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 why should, would they induct Christian kiss. when they should be inducting close to ten other guys before him? Such an unwise business move. I agree with that. The, the first TNA Hall of Fame inductee should be AJ Styles. I disagree. Who do you think should Considering be? Considering AJ is active there, well, the I, I, I may catch crap for this, but I think the first inductee should be Jeff Jarrett. That makes sense, too. There'd be no TNA without Jeff or Joey Jarrett. No, that's true. But Christian was arguably the hugest acquisition, granted at the time. At the time, yes. That got TNA to that major plateau. Very true. So I can understand, in a sense, why they would want to acknowledge Especially him. he's not there anymore. Seven right. years ago, almost, that he came, and he helped take them to that level, next level they needed to be. And he's been gone for almost four. Hardy didn't do it. Raven didn't do it. Even Kurt. Kurt did it, but Kurt came After post Christian. Christian. Yeah, exactly. Angle rode Christian's coattails. For a minute there. For the see. first time ever. Yes. Um, let's see what else we got here. Awesome Christian is in TNA. No, he's not. It's a one-time appearance. Yep. Way, to, way to go, Dixie. Had 
had you guys, you know, book slam anniversary further than three days in advance and announced that Christian would be there, I would have been interested in actually going. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't going to give that away too far in advance. Sorry, guys. Seriously, they wanted they wanted to make y'all wait until today to make you guys buy the show on Sunday. Because, you know, yeah. It's... So, anyways. There it is, guys. Well, I, I'm impressed you kept that for me and Rev was able to keep that for me. That's very good. Very good, sir. So, we will be back on Sunday. Well, I, I mean, maybe yeah. maybe early Monday with a review of Slammiversary. Yes. And Don't forget to catch our normal offbeat shenanigans over the course of the weekend. Ringside Renegades! Me and Jade talking about the top ten favorite sports teams for us, as well as Stat Boy's Bell. Yes. Jeff and Stat Boy here doing now, the same thing. Now, like I said at the top of this show, it's tape before. Yes. The Kings win tomorrow. You're still going to see the beard on the show. Yes. But after the bell and the anniversary show, be baby face. Baby face. Over. <laughs> I'm done with this damn beard. <laughs> this has been a special episode of Dad's, I guess. Yes. We'll call it that. Yeah, it's Dad's on Wrestling. Dad's on Wrestling. Special Friday edition. And we will see you guys over the weekend for the offbeat shenanigans. And for more, go to the Cassidy Teen Studios, youtube.com slash Renegade of Wrestling. See you around.